the title of my talk is, uh, uh, This is Why We Can't Have Nice Things. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about East, <laughs> <laughs> about East Const tonight. But it's, this is not really the ultimate def, uh, definition or defense of East Const. I think there are better people to do that, and I think it'd probably be difficult to do in five minutes. In fact, given where I am now, I'm probably not going to finish this in five minutes as it is. So the term East Const comes from Simon Brand. Do you hear Simon? Simon's here at the conference. I don't know if he's here tonight. Uh, he coined this last November. But the concept itself has been around for a very long time. Uh, uh, Dan Sachs has been pushing this since the, the 90s. Uh, Dan is also at the conference, although I don't know if he's in the room tonight. Uh, so the rule for const is that const applies to what's on its left. Unless there is nothing on its left, and then it applies to what's on its right. Now, in my code, I like simple, consistent rules, and I don't think this is simple, consistent rule. So in my code, the rule is const applies to what's on its left. Full stop. Because in my code, const always modifies what it's following. But people object to that. They say, wait a minute, I want to read it as a constant integer because I'm an English speaker and I put my modifier in front of my noun. And, and I agree, I want to do that too. But the assumption you're making is that you're going to read left to right because you're an English speaker. But you're not an English speaker, you're a programmer. And in C and C++, the real uh, order to read declarations is actually inside out and right to left. So for example, uh, fn is a pointer to a function that takes an int and returns a void. And RA here is a reference to an array of three longs. And uh, PC is a constant pointer to a character. And uh, PC here is a constant pointer to a constant character. And in this case, RI is a reference to a constant integer. So you see, I do read it as a constant integer because I'm reading the, the declaration order the way that unfortunately the language syntax uh, calls for us to do. There are times in the language when the language requires us to use East const. So for example, if you want to have a constant pointer or if you want to declare a constant member function, you must use East const, which is one of the reasons why we sometimes refer to East const before, uh, uh, before Simon came up with that clever name. We used to just call it consistent const because if you are going to use something that's other than East const, you're going to be inconsistent in your code because if you ever have a constant member function or a constant pointer, you're going to have to use East const in those cases. It can also be confusing. So, for example, I've created a type alias here of a widget pointer, and if, you, uh, if you're if you not using East const, you, you might be confused by looking at this and think, oh, this is a pointer to a constant widget. But, of course, that's not what it is. It's a constant pointer to a widget reading uh, left to right. And this is something that's, this is what the talk is really about. It's not about East const. It's about the frustration that I have felt uh, a number of times in my career when I, I stumble onto something that usually someone else did, not me, but some other way that's actually a better way of programming. And I, I take this to the team and I say, look, this is a better way we could be writing code. And the argument is, oh, we can't do that. Why not? Well, there's a, you know several million lines of code in our code base that don't do it that way, so it would be inconsistent. Uh, no, I'm not buying that. This is the argument that's actually used in the coding guidelines. This is kind of what really motivated this talk. They have this example here where they use the bad example is East Const. And they actually concede. And they say, well, the bad example is more logical. But then they hide behind the kids, right? They say, well, novices relying on teaching material you might be confused because the, the, the alternative, the conventional, is more common. So what we're saying here is rather than improve our teaching materials, we're going to condemn the entire industry to a less logical approach. That is the argument they've made. Furthermore, if you look down here in the enforcement part, they're actually saying, we're going to flag anything that uses uh, uh, const as a, a suffix to a type. But I call your attention back up here to the OK example, where p is a type whose, whose suffix is const, because for pointers, it has to be. Um, so I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to say, this is why we can't have nice things. If you must remain consistent with the past, you can never improve. Because any improvement is inconsistent with the past by definition. So I'm going to ask you to uh, join the East Const revolution. Uh, I, I, I think there are people who are handing out, handing out bands. Come and find me at any time. We're going to have some at the info desk. If you have uh, coworkers who need to have this when you go home, take more than one. There are, believe me, there are plenty here. Thank you very much.